Oh, JD here, Tyro Levinson, as you can see on F1 2020, as always. And we are diving back into the F1 esports world with the second qualifying event for the F1 2021 series. And we arrive at USA Circuit of the Americas for this event. And this track is extremely difficult, very, very technical, very easy to make a mistake or get an invalidation. And I think this will give you a very, very good perspective of, again, what it takes to reach the qualifying stage at the very, very top. You can see the objective is to finish in seventh position or higher. You are Lando Norris in the McLaren. And the points are really based on your skill, obviously, the speed, the total time you do, and the AI difficulty. Also, you have to take into account uh, track invalidations that can really, really hamper your score. Or if you get a very good faster sap, that can really boost your score, even if your total time is actually slower than someone around you or who is ahead of you. But today, showcasing this, because I haven't had the time myself to actually do this, which I'll probably do on the live stream next week, is BGG Gullis, who is not only the current PSGL champion, but he is on a controller which I think is absolutely fascinating, especially around this track of USA, USA. It's not a track which I would deem particularly controller friendly. And I think on this game itself, I think the controller is definitely not as strong as it was compared to F1 2019. So you know, the time that he's done, which I won't spoil yet, is a very, very good time. And I hopefully this inspires people who are on a controller who can't afford a wheel that they can still qualify at the very very top for an f1 esports qualifying event which you know of course if you do get through you're gonna have to use the wheel if you get through into the series but again you know i even qualified on the controller for my f1 esports the first time i did f1 esports i actually got signed by renault and i qualified using a controller so it is definitely possible and that's why it really should motivate you but now we are actually going to watch his full run that he's very, very kindly shared to me. And going to this first sector, this is a sector where I really feel the controller would be at a big, big disadvantage. You know, one of the advantages of a controller is also one of its biggest weaknesses, and that is the steering lock, where it's really kind of just fixed into place, and the ratio kind of changes depending on what corner you're going into because you know, in those S sections if you're going full lock it's only going to turn about 45 degrees but you can see here it's turning 90 degrees itself so it's a very very big challenge especially on a controller going around this circuit you just have to be ruthlessly accurate but you can see so far they did the first up of 34.1 which from what I've seen during this event is a pretty handy time but he didn't use any overtake going down this main straight because I think, although this is my first time watching this, I think you need really need to time, as you do in all these F1 eSport events, you really need to time when you actually approach this AI, when you actually come up to this AI, because you really want to overtake them in a place where you can really maximize the total time of the event where you don't lose much time itself. You can see, being very aggressive into this last corner, so I really think he wanted to get on the DRS of signs, his teammate, but he didn't get it on that occasion. Doing a 33.3, setting the fastest up, which is good. So hopefully he's probably going to catch him as he goes onto this main straight. That would be the best place to do it. You definitely don't want to be right up on the gearbox coming into sector one because you're just going to be losing too much time. You can see him being very, very precise going through this S section because again, if you get one track evaluation or even if you use a flashback, you might as well just completely resize it. has a big, big moment through there. So that has definitely cost him some time. Definitely at two temps at least, I'd say, because of that error. So he really, really needs to get past him, I'd say, coming onto the straight. So he's definitely saving all of his ERS. That's the reason why he didn't use it on the previous sap. And I think he's going to have to do it, but he decides not to overtake there. Whereas I've seen other people have got him on the straight but he still goes for the move down the inside and that was absolutely out of nowhere he's got that move and again that was very very risky because if you actually make contact with the ai that will actually give you a warning and that actually counts towards your total score 
where you could actually be losing some points so that was very very unexpected but very very impressive on the brakes there setting a purple sector obviously because of that DRS and now he really did need to get past him I think he wanted to make it a little bit easier than that I think he wanted to be a bit closer because he lost a bit of time off the top of the hill but nonetheless now he's got a bit of free air got about 3.6 seconds to Daniel Ricardo, and now this is where he can push so I think he's going to try and really really capitalize on this use his free air going through this section got a complete fat out having like a little lift going through that right hander going down to fifth gear and the first sector okay, about one and a half temps up on his seconds. fastest up so far this is the time this is the place where he lost it before and I can confirm on the controller it is extremely difficult to correct a mistake but one of the benefits of the controller in my opinion is definitely the braking and the acceleration I think it's just a little bit easier especially when you have the vibration going through your fingertips whereas on the pedals you don't have any vibration whatsoever so I think it could be definitely a bit more precise with the acceleration and the braking and you notice going through that left hander I've seen other people comment on this the track limits aren't particularly strict going through there which is why you'll probably see a lot of people cutting that corner on their run and to be honest there's nothing really to complain about because when you're trying to qualify for an f1 esports event you have to do everything of what the game actually allows you coming into this corner completely blind corner i think this would be an absolute nightmare when you're on the controller because there's only really a set amount of steering degrees of rotation you can use through there and if you make a mistake unlike on the wheel where you can really you know i could go full lock through there on the wheel if i really wanted to there's a lot more a lot more options i say in the steering angles which again that's a that's a pro and a con of both of the devices but now he's coming up to daniel ricardo pretty quickly and quite similar to his teammate I think he's really wanting to overtake him on this main straight so he's already within the DRS zone let's see if he gets a good exit of here There's definitely better than he did when he was overtaking signs before he's going to be a little bit far back so really really breaking super hard first give for the extra rotation and the traction he gets off this corner it's very good he's definitely much much closer than he was to signs but the Renault engine as we know is very very good in a straight line so he's using a little bit more more overtake but I expect him to go down the inside. He goes down the inside once again. Cutting his corner on the inside. But again, the game allows you to do that. And he is actually improving on this app. So this could be a new opportunity to get another faster sap. Because any improvements you can get on your faster sap will really, really boost your score for the final event. And that was an absolute crucial move. Now he is about 7.5 seconds behind Charles Leclerc, which I don't think is going to be possible. But he's already achieved the objective of finishing 7th position or higher. And of course, as he just narrowly misses out on improving on his fastest lap. But yeah, of course, you know, this is on a 100%, 110% AI difficulty, if I can just get out my words. But no, this is very, very impressive for a controller player and he made a, quite a big mistake on that second lap as well going over the top of the hill so again staying away from cutting the corner there because that will just completely destroy your score going quicker again in this first sector but this is a very very difficult corner as he almost loses it again i could see on the steering lock it was very very close to being just about over the limit but he's breaking through there he actually misses the apex but sometimes that's okay it actually allows you to get a little bit earlier on the traction not using the overtake down the main straight here as you can see it's starting to deplete and go down the gap is coming down to Charles Leclerc 6.4 seconds but he definitely isn't going to be close enough using all the track limits on the inside but I think just on the traction and the braking especially the braking he is very very impressive and it just looks very very controlled and easy and um, doesn't look like he's really hustling the car um, that hard which I think it's quite difficult to make it look like on the controller but no, it's just very very clean and precise gets a very good exit that time I think that's definitely the best he has got that penultimate corner being very aggressive on the entry for this one because I think he knows he needs to make up a little bit of lost time 
probably not going to improve his fastest lap because that was with the aid of the DRS now. But now, just on his last lap, it's just all about just keeping it together, missing the apex again. But I still think he gets a pretty good exit because he's just so, so good on the traction. Keeping it in standard, saving a bit of ERS and fuel for the last lap and almost, almost going off the track there. And just a little bit down now on the first sector going through the corner which i think he struggles with the most and gets a pretty decent exit on this occasion this corner he's very very good on the braking here and this time absolutely nails this apex and he's just going to use the rest of his overtake and fuel just to try and gain any amount of time possible he's fully fully depleting it down this straight in fact and no this run so far no, as impressive as it is for a controller player, I still think he can gain quite a lot of time in this run. I think there was definitely a few corners where he made a little bit of an error, went in a little bit deep. But nonetheless, he, the overtakes he did was absolutely crucial to this run itself. So using the rest of his overtake now, this is the final lap of the race. So just gaining an extra tenth could push you up so many positions on the F1 Esports and you can see he's still using overtake even going to his final corner getting a pretty pretty decent corner coming across the line he does a purple last sector with the use of that ERS and that is his completed run achieving achieving the objective sorry of finishing seventh position or higher but it's all about the score it's all about the points in the F1 Esports qualifier and we are about to see that at the end here as Hamilton, Verstappen, Bottas, the usual podium in Formula 1, no different to the game itself. But skipping on to the, what his score and what his time actually was, it was a 1 minute 2.7. And I think we'll be able to see in a second what actually that translates to in the score itself and you'll be able to see his lap times here so 32.9 fastest lap then quite low 33s for the remainder of that itself so very very impressive especially for this combination you can see that's 776,000 and you can see that has put him top of the leaderboard on PS4 and I can confirm as well that that is only a thousand score off even the top PC time so to do that on the controller with the level of competition that is going on right now that is absolutely insane so make sure you give him a follow on Twitter on the social media down below I just really wanted to show that as a perspective and a motivation for people even using a controller that you can still get to the very top in the F1 esports qualifier thank you very much for Gullis for letting me use this footage and I will catch you very very soon Peace.